Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about art thieves. Boo! Boo, hiss, art thieves. Yeah, this is uh, surprising, but not really surprising. Megadeth apparently is selling a t-shirt with artwork from, or uh, artwork inspired by Kevin Bulk. Yeah, but looks that way. It looks very, very similar. It's not <laughs> the exact same artwork, but the concept uh, is very similar. And uh, this is a this is a very common thing. In fact, Disney does this often, where they let people, uh, you know, produce un unlicensed content on Etsy, and then they turn around and they knock it off. Mm -hmm. They knock off the knockoff. Right. 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 Uh, but then the thing is, is they'll say, "Well, we own the IP, so we can do." whatever we want mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do about it little artist you can't you can't uh fight you can't fight mega death inc uh you can't fight disney so we're going to talk about the art thieves we're going to talk about kevin bulk in particular he's a pretty well-known fan artist uh slash web comics person we actually know him somewhat we've we've talked to kevin off and on throughout the years you know the number of comic book conventions we've done and, mm -hmm. and uh you know he's He's very accustomed to having his ideas stolen. Yes, we have had that happen to us as well. I've got I've got that too. We'll, okay. we'll talk about that. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're uh, over 198,000. Woohoo! Almost to 199,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, it's definitely appreciated. We do talk about art and comics and all of that jazz. And unfortunately, uh, you know, with the age of the internet, when you put something out there, you always, always, always run the risk of having someone take it. Well, for the longest time, it's been an issue at conventions. Yeah. Where you see these walls of art, and sometimes it's licensed art, and sometimes, you know, they have paid for the rights to sell it. But more often than not, it's art that the name might not own, that they might have found, and they're putting it on t-shirts, they're putting it on prints and selling them at conventions. Um, it's been an ongoing trend. Oh, I didn't see that someone else had Mike Ren Mouse. Mike Ren Mouse. And it wasn't even Kylo Ren. No, so this is, uh, I can relate to Kevin. Now, Kevin's had his stuff ripped off more often than I have. But for some reason, I this actually is my artwork. This is uh, something I drew. Oh, you did that for Kylo Ren, did you? Yeah. Yeah. It was, well, it was supposed to be organization 13, you know, with Kylo Ren's lights or whatever. I did this as a tryout for IDW. Right. This was never meant to be one. It was never meant to be released commercially. Uh, I do have the original file. I can prove it. And, um, you know, it was just a tryout, and somehow it found its way onto a number of products. It's over on here. a shower curtain on Amazon. It's for a while. shower curtain. I, wish I, we was, had I shower. wanted to buy that shower curtain, but I was, I actually wanted it, but I was like, I don't want to send the wrong message. But I really wish I had bought the shower curtain because I totally would have used it. So I was, I was curious because I know Disney sent Amazon uh, a cease and desist for that seller. It was, a, you know, it was in like China or something like that. And I, I was wondering, like, does anybody else have this artwork? Is it floating around out there? And we were going to do this video on the Megadeth situation. And, yeah, Mick Wren, Mick Wren Mouse. Mm -hmm. uh, T-shirts are for sale. Yes, that's that's my artwork. Uh, no, I don't think I have any legal recourse because I doubt this company is even in the U.S. And beyond that, Disney owns the IP. So mm -hmm. technically, I'm not supposed to make any money off of it anyway, but neither are they. Mm-mm. That's one of the uh, the problems, I guess, of, of putting your stuff out there on the internet. It's it's a double edged sword. You know, you get found. Mm -hmm. You could build a following, but you also run the risk of of people you know knocking you off or, or just flat out stealing your artwork. Now, in this case, this is, I believe, an officially licensed Megadeth T shirt. Now, they did not steal Kevin's art per se, but they absolutely stole the concept. Yes. Uh, right down to the color of the Kool-Aid. I know. Uh, this you know. reminds me of the person, we, we refer to her as Pillow Thief. And um, for a while, I did pillows at conventions, okay? And I did them a certain way. And there were some things I actually changed the colors on because I thought the colors looked better a different way than what actually would have been in the game. So we're at a show, and lo and behold, here's this woman selling exact copies of what I was doing um, down to the colors. And I had changed some of the colors. Yeah. 
Um, and it was like every single, every single design I had, she was knocking it off. And then, um, she kept going for other things too. And so we just referred to her as pillow thief. <laughs> um, but it was ridiculous. And then she was trying to say that, oh, well she bought, she bought pillows for me. So, and I'm like, yeah, no kidding. But like, that's this whole idea too. Like she didn't, she made them herself, but there were certain things I changed down to certain colors she copied. And that's what this reminds me of, down to the color of the, the liquid in the pitcher and, and the cup stack. Yep. I mean, we can start, and even the way the like the, the edges are done. Yeah, I mean, I was even noticing that too, the color of the box. The green coming out just like that, the matches, yep. you know, I mean, there's so, it, 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 there's no question that was, it, it, that wasn't inspired by. So I thought we would, uh, I thought we'd help Kevin out here because he said, please share and signal boost. Mm -hmm. So we, we will do that here because uh, we do talk about this kind of stuff all the time. So Kevin said, I created the cartoon on the left, a spoof of Megadeth's Peace Cells, but who's buying in 2010. The shirt design on the right is officially licensed merchandise is currently for sale on EMP UK, also EMP France, Italia, Espana, and other parts of Europe. It has also appeared on walmart.com and ironically, uh, angry, young, and poor, <laughs> but it's out of stock. At first glance, I thought maybe it's just a coincidence or at worst, they lifted the idea, but upon closer inspection, you can see the creators of the shirt not only use the idea in the same color scheme, they literally copy pasted and slightly transformed elements of my art and added official elements on top of it. This is basically two steps off from straight up art theft and who knows how much money they've made off of it. Uh, if they're sold out at Walmart, it wasn't small change. Mm -hmm. I've reached out to the websites involved to find out who actually produced the shirt, but I've gotten no response. I'm used to art thieves on made to order sites or the occasional international bootleggers stealing my art. Same. Yep. But to have it on officially licensed merch made and sold by big companies is unacceptable. Unfortunately, unfortunately it happens a lot. And again, Disney does this too. Because in their mind, they're like, well, it's RIP. Well, mostly what they do is they, yeah, they seem to go to places like Etsy. And if something's really popular at Etsy, suddenly um, there is a, a merchant, a official merchandise that shows up that's very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah. not straight up. Again, it's like this where it's not a straight up knockoff. But they're like, that was a damn good idea. Thanks for doing that marketing research for us. Random yeah, I see that everybody artists. likes that. So we'll make, a, we'll make something that, you know, similar, not the same, though. No artist should have their work used in this manner without their knowledge or permission. I know the guys at Megadeth understand this. And if they knew this was happening, I'm sure they wouldn't stand for it. Well, that's the thing. You know, Megadeth is a is a machine. You know, these bands are, are companies, basically. And they got a bunch of people working underneath them. They probably told this company or licensed out, you know, Megadeth to them. And they said, hey, just, you know, what do you think is going to sell? Just go do something. Right, and they're probably not know? looking up every piece no, to see no. if someone, you know, they took it from somebody. I mean, most companies don't. They're going on tour. Even major... Disney corporate probably doesn't know that they're someone's taking it from Etsy. I've always wondered if, if with Disney, and we see this with, um, you know, different ideas and you know their their entertainment too. If it's not like some middle manager trying yeah. to prove themselves, and they just go out to the internet and see what's popular, and uh, see character designs, be like, hey, we're working on a movie that's kind of like Treasure Planet in outer space. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Uh, you know, we need some kind of cool spacey looking designs, and you know, maybe maybe be cool. I wonder if anybody has some artwork out there that you know would fit with this. And sometimes they might find a website. Uh, by a, a little known web artist and, and the maybe, neon transit maybe, that right and, and you know might have had might have had I might have had a sight meter back this is old right back in the day that showed many 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 visits from the Walt Disney Company or somebody with the Walt Disney Company when Treasure Planet and Atlantis were actually in development mm -hmm. and some of uh, some of the designs I might have had on that website for a comic book series that would eventually become Shadowbinders might have might have you know they might have been inspired to uh yeah because there's I, I, some okay let's put it this way when i saw the, the treasure planet the first time i looked because i looked at neon i'm like that looks like your stuff <laughs> and that's when he said well that explains why disney was on my site all those times anyway anyway it, just perhaps, saying, possibly maybe perhaps possibly most maybe. Likely. um i'm not sure what i'll get out of this beyond maybe getting the shirt taken down or at least making other artists more aware but i can't let it slide if anyone has more information let me know here's his email me at kevinbulk.com. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so this is pretty similar. I mean, down to the number of bolts, I know. I was down like, to the colors. Uh, it's base. It's almost as if it's almost as if they said, "Hey, this is really popular. Just change it enough 
to make Let sure we don't get sued. Let us finish the teeth, yeah. Yeah. And they just made it look a little more official-ish because of the pose. Okay, yeah, but see, the, that's the official one, though, right? Yeah. His, his stylized version, what were the odds it would come out exactly the same? The same shape, shape of the face, same idea of going round, you they, know? They it, basically come said, on. yeah, they took the cover and they said, okay, uh, take the cover and, and overlay even the number of cups. That's what I said. It's yeah, like, it's like, I mean, the color of the cool, I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, the grass, the everything. It's it's obviously a knockoff. Obviously a knockoff. So here on DeviantArt, uh, Peace Sells But Who's Buying, can you put a price on Peace? Wanted to challenge myself to see if I can make heavy metal mascots look adorable. Uh, yeah, so Vic Rattlehead of Megadeth. This was when did March 18th, 2010. 2010. 2010. So well, what were the odds they would just stylize and make it, make it cute just like that? Well, uh, Mike Ren Mouse was originally drawn in 2015. Here's the thing, though. The Mike Ren Mouse, who would think to put your organization 13 and Kylo Ren together? Yeah. You yeah, know? I know. I know. It was, no, it was it was totally my art. I've got the, the official. Well, then uh, you had this, you had Dark Ren Duck art that they kept ripping off and selling on watches and stuff on Etsy. Oh, yeah, they were. They were actually selling, yeah. They had my, my Dark Wing Duck. I, again, it was tryout art. I, I was trying to get a gig on, on Dark Wing Duck. And uh, back in the day, and they were taking some of my tryout art, and they were throwing it on watches. Right, there was on watches and different things. We found it on Etsy. And, and I'm like, well, at least they, eBay. they thought it was good enough to bootleg, I guess. I, they thought it was. They were calling it like official art. So I think they thought it was official. It was pretty good though. So, um, but how they got the high res version is is beyond me. I'm thinking they might have gone out to like because I put this on Deviant Art mm -hmm. back in the day, and I, I wonder if they went out and they just upscaled. The Did you take it off of DeviantArt since because it was being used? I don't remember. Um, I, I just, I know, well, no, I think I had it up there because I wanted to prove that, like, I had it on there. But, um, yeah, I was pretty pissed because they were selling all kinds of stuff on Amazon mm -hmm. with this. And, uh, you know, but again, this is this is not licensed, you know, officially licensed. This is just some knockoff site selling, you know, stuff they find on. And I, I've heard this before, too. There, there are T-shirt companies out there that have, built their entire businesses out of stolen art, mm -hmm. you know, stealing people's art. And it's, it's pretty despicable, but what are you going to do? I mean, they know that a lot of internet artists don't have the financial resources to fight them. They know if they don't own the characters, you know, I don't own Mickey Mouse or Kylo Ren, so I can't do anything. He, he doesn't know. Right. And the only reason they're using those characters is because they're characters people know. If you right. did your own character, they wouldn't know. So, um, yeah, but another point about Kevin I want to point out real quick is, um, yeah, do you guys remember the Hawkeye Initiative? And we said we know the person who actually, um, we know who the person was who actually uh, started the Hawkeye Initiative? Yeah. That's Kevin. Yeah, so Kevin, uh, you probably have seen this image. This image is from 2011. Uh, in fact, this article in The Guardian is dated 2011. This is, as far as I know, this is the image that kicked off the Hawkeye initiative because Kevin thought it would be funny to, because everybody in the poster, you know, was posed heroically except for Black Widow who had her ass cheeks, you know, facing the camera. So he's like, well, I just flip that, reverse it, and everybody else has their ass hanging out. And uh, Black Widow is doing a, you know, karate chop or something. Uh, huge. I mean, this thing blew up the internet. Huge, huge viral post, Right. And uh, what's they call him Kevin Bolt? <laughs> Bolt was prompted to draw the pair. Anyway, um, so it made the rounds. A year or so later, Tumblr ran with this, and they started calling it the Hawkeye Initiative. And, and guess who got guess who got credit? Guess who got credit for it? I know who got credit for it. Noelle Stevenson. Uh, she started it. And, and wait, wait, in late 2012? In late 2012. Well, isn't that amazing? Because the stuff's dated 2011 with the actual, uh, you know, the thing. So basically what they did was they took the idea and then they turned around and just made it all Hawkeye. Yeah. So all they did was steal the idea and just put one character and then they, you know, oh, it's the Hawkeye initiative. But it came from a piece of art um, that somebody else had done. Yeah, because it, it was huge. I mean, and he doesn't yeah. get credit at all, which is kind of garbage. I know he's not mentioned anywhere, and I'm like, I know his his uh, Avengers parody poster was a huge deal. Again, it's getting you know articles written in the Guardian. Mm -hmm. You know, but this doesn't happen for Deviant Art 
artists very often. No, but you can see there, that would technically be the first Hawkeye Initiative picture. And then they just took one character and then started running with it with one character. But it was it was already something that somebody else thought of, and they just jumped on it. Um, but yeah, it, it goes actually back to to Kevin's artwork. Um, I know it's been bothering Neon for years, and now we have an it, opportunity to say something. It has because I didn't want to go out there and just do a video about like, did you know that Tumblr and Noel Stevenson stole the Hawkeye Initiative? Um, but yeah, since we're talking about Kevin getting his stuff swiped, I thought now would be a good time to talk about it because you can go to the website. The, uh, they have a Hawkeye initiative website out Why? there. Why The official, the official write up is that, uh, it was this Tumblr user hours ago, redrew a Marvel comics cover with Black Widow and Hawkeye's positions switch. So got the idea probably from Kevin. From Kevin. Not, we don't know that for sure, but you know, it's a little, what were the odds? Yeah. So this is the cover, but then that's their version of it. You go to Wikipedia, they're saying it was Noel Stevenson who was late to the party because we're talking almost two years, you know, probably since that, that art was, was dropped. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and there's and been other no... people give this guy credit or this guy or girl credit, yeah. you know, so either way, sometimes the narrative isn't exactly what happened, but you know, at least, at least when you look at all, all the other stuff surrounding it. Yeah. So uh... I question, let's put it that way. I question it. Yeah. And it, it. it's it's a good uh, feather to have in your cap when you're you're going to get a deal. Be like, did you know, I invented the Hawkeye Initiative. You know, it's it's great when other people can take your success and your hard work and use it uh, to pump themselves up and get mm -hmm. themselves further ahead. In, in I mean, maybe industry. maybe it was coincidental, and then, uh, uh, but I just find it. It's a little bit weird. Anyway. Anyway, just thought that, you know, bringing this all around to some of the other stuff we talk about, you know, it's very interesting that uh, she's the one getting credit for it. But yeah, if you can uh, help Kevin out, if, if anybody from Megadeth is watching this video. Or you know somebody that you can get a hold of. Or you know somebody at the t-shirt company, uh, please do so because this is, this is not right. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not right. So we got to wrap this up. Yeah. All right, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, and we'll talk later. Bye.